I was so I was honestly so nihilistic about this or yeah. fatalistic. I was just like, I was this like, is a, I, I don't know. I don't even want to watch anything. Yesterday, I felt like I didn't even want to watch anything about the elections. I was just kind of scared. Well, and the polls were getting worse and worse the closer we got, and it was looking like the Republicans were take the House and Senate. And now they're barely going to take the House, and the Dems, it looks like, are going to not only keep the Senate, but potentially even pick up a seat, which is just mm -hmm. nuts. It's just nuts. Here, but yeah, I mean, I'm just so encouraged by this, and I want to basically thank everybody watching, because it seems like the, the young people, the millennials, the, or the Generation Z, uh, they came out. They actually came out. And that's Both, why yeah. these old fucks oh, always yeah. win these elections mm -hmm. uh, is because young people have never been mobilized and p they actually went out and voted. So I want to thank everybody who watching this show. And that's why I think it's so important what like what Hassan does, for example. I think it's so important. He's one of the mm -hmm. biggest Twitch streamers and he's popularizing politics. leftist politics. And in a totally. landscape, all you see is like Crowder and Ben Shapiro and all these mm -hmm. fuckwads. And so to me, even the leftovers probably generates people that absolutely hate me want to kill me oh yeah <laughs> and all that it's so worth it because i see stuff like this and i'm not i'm not going to say that leftovers had an effect or anything but i think that just mainstreaming leftist politics mm -hmm. to the young people like on youtube is such a dub and i love that you guys all went out and voted it's just so encouraging it's so great keep doing it we're getting those old fucks out Good luck with all of that leftovers. Well, in my opinion, <laughs> not, you know, because you, no, you, you don't want to, like you said, it's not just because of leftovers or even just Hassan. But what both Hassan and you do is, I think, gives a voice to politics coming from, you know, more left perspective that isn't so, um, that isn't so, for lack of a better term, uh, preachy and annoying like you guys you guys are uh you guys are funny and you and you funny and you're a little and you especially ethan are your okay. humor can be edgy and um and transgressive and you know just showing that you know it doesn't have to all be whiny scolding you know there's a there's a positive spin that can be put on it um to make it fun and engaging and, and entertaining at the same time without coming off as just preachy and nobody's fucking listening you know. to Nancy Pelosi when she says that's what I'm saying nobody it's like, cares I think impossible. for a long time it, justifiably or not the perception has been that you know left uh, politics is uh, kind of cringe and annoying yeah. even, you know even if you agree yeah. with it and um, actually and it's been so easy for the conservatives to just make caricatures like insane yeah. caricatures mm -hmm. of the left right. that exactly. like we could put in kitty boxes in schools and that we're trying to uh, we're trying to cut off uh, the genitals of children and all it's just insanity right and i'm seeing people say that uh it encouraged them to vote and that just i think that that makes me feel like so nice and so good and uh just so encouraged that the future isn't all doom and gloom and we're not all doomed to just being fucked over by a bunch of psychopaths thick christian nationalist fascists yeah and that's great love it